Welcome back to The Letters. I am your host, Jeff Grasso. I have my Ed McMahon for this uh, episode, Mr. John Lucero. You are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here with Billy Ruff and Dave Andrick, some Hi. of uh, the 70s and 80s greatest skateboarders, to sit here and tell you stories about the origins of the backside air. <laughs> go up you try to get try to get a grind you try to do wheelers you start doing tail taps the progression of it is is you're going to come in hot to the coping going a little too fast and you're going to bonk off and the back stair is born and off to the races we all went well not me because i was a fetus it was the 70s it was all about getting down going high Is there any credit for the first back snare guy? Like, do you know? You're probably right. It all started with the hippies. Hippies were the first ones to take to the air, I think, right? <laughs> but, I know, I want to know who that was, because there's still five people saying they were the first ones to do that. Like, it was probably sequentially invented in several spots at the same time. <laughs> Wants to talk about TA's frontside air and how wonderful and stylish frontside air, man. And I don't care. I don't even like it. The backside is where it's at, man. The backside is where we got bio. Yeah, bionic. Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. Hard weapon. All bionic. The tricks are numerous. A favorite is backside airs. Here's a string of them. Every one has a little different style, but the goal is the same, getting bionic. There are the fucking sad and pathetic few like us that are left, who are bonkers. One of the hottest skate stars around, Kevin Staub. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I like bonking. We need, we need a wall. We need, yep. you know, a foot and three inches of... Vert. If there's no vert, I'm and, out. And we need big bonky coping, and you just basically, you kind of hit <laughs> your, great. you kind of bonk, you just bonk your wheels off the coping. Andrew's my hero. He was he was the San Diego oh, Pro. That was my first that was my first real skateboard because every other skateboard I had was either hand me down or a JC Penny. Yeah. And I begged my dad to buy me a Sims Andrect. I didn't get rails yet, or I couldn't afford to get rails with it. And so the first day I rode it, I did like a little disaster in the snake run, and I cried because I scratched the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the first guy to to break fence, right? Fence high. Yeah. Is Andrex fun? High, yeah. yeah. Come to the big old gold cup, and you got Andrek blowing over the fence for the first time. That contest, as John pointed out earlier, it was uh, probably 100 degrees hot. I mean, it was a hot day, and I was in there sucking down Mountain Dews. Gave me an upset stomach, so next thing I know, I have diarrhea. <laughs> like, the worst case ever. And uh, I was going into uh, the bathroom, and Dwayne and one of his buddies were in there shaving everybody's head. And <laughs> so anyway, the next thing I know is like somebody comes in the bathroom going, Andrek, Andrek, your run, it's up, it's up right now, you gotta go. And I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I was pushing yeah. as fast as I could to go into the bowl because they were telling me that my run was done. From the Sears team, David, the Raver Andrek, on bowl. I never practiced it, I had no idea. The next thing you know, I was just dropping in, I'm hitting the face wall at 100 miles an hour going, what are you going to do? So I just hit the top and flew and I crest. I almost made the first one. And of course, everybody in the crowd's going crazy. So I get my board, I run back to the top, push, push, push. Yeah. And I made, the next thing you know, I go up on the other side, I do an andrek, but my hand came off, but I tucked it in and I made it somehow. And then I finished up my run, and the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done. 
it's not a light comment to make the day bio like I mean it's it's a fucking literally one run and every in the entire the entire fucking game changed. But you've got a young Neil Blender sitting there watching Dave at Big O and he Neil. sees Dave doing these behind the foot over fence high back stairs. And when you see the footage, and we will show it to you now, um, he has this little this little kind of yeah. jerk in the you know at the peak of the aerial that brings his board up yeah, another extra, yeah. another little half foot foot and it's, it's a method. method and it's yeah. because he's grabbing behind the foot. Yeah. Watch Neil Blender come out over the coping and still manage to pull it back in for re-entry. So he takes what Dave's doing and learned what they ultimately called method back stairs because that's the method how you do it. You arch your back and yeah, you, and it gives you extra yeah, light on and you board. get that extra yeah. foot or two. Head high wasn't even on the radar yet. No, fence that gets into your like, realm. That's what yeah. we got you here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> so they've got the fence high. It was pretty much a staple of a routine. I, I would say, I don't know if it was just me, but I'd say easily three to five parts of your run were backside air related. Billy here was the first guy to straighten his leg out to keep your foot on the board. Soy took it to the nth degree by, you know, putting his twist on it, which he called the tweak air at the time. And he would go out and do the level out backs there yeah. that, that Lincoln Ueda does so perfectly about 14 feet oh, out. Back when I was growing up skateboarding, the benchmark of a good skateboarder was how high how stylish, how good the dude's back set air was. What's it gonna take to win here? Good airs, fast lines, power, strength. If you had a bad back set air, you might as well fucking pack up shop <laughs> and go the fuck home and just get into to basket weaving. Grabbing backside while you're doing an invert. Dave Andrick invented it, I don't know, probably late 70s or early 80s. My understanding of the difference between an Andrick and a J. Adams flyaway is Andrick, you actually roll down the wall. Yeah, I was gonna that's, say, that's, yeah. That's the difference. You, you learned this trick. Were you inspired by like seeing photos of Jay doing his flyaway? Actually, to be honest Where with you, just... I never looked at a magazine when I was a kid. I never did. Um, I learned it because, you know, I was skating, uh, and I built a four foot wide half pipe that went to vert, it was like shallow end in my backyard. And I kept flying off of it, you know, I'm trying to do backside airs. And so then finally I went up and I just grabbed the board and pulled it up and put my hand on the bottom and pulled it back underneath me. And I just kept growing like that until I finally, you know, took it to the, the wait, wait, back, Spring back. Valley and wait, wait, back up. He, he yeah. made, up, he made up Andrix trying to learn back stairs. Yeah. And this is off the side of the ramp or on well, the I was flying off that. was only a four foot wide ramp. In the pursuit to learn how to go higher, people started doing things to their back stairs. <laughs> you, had all these different, you had all these different styles of back stairs. You had Eddie Elgara do, you know, kind of grabbed his nose and his back foot always fell off. My inspiration for back stairs was, was El Gato because he grabbed the nose. And that made it easier to grab. Instead of like early grabbing and losing all your speed, that made it, that was like the, the stepping stone to grabbing late. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? When you yeah. grab the nose, you can grab it right at the coping. And so you don't lose that much speed. So that, that was the whole thing was losing speed. 
That was it for me, because I was uh, so small, I couldn't get speed. Uh, and then when I grabbed my nose, it was like you're doing a kick turn. Then I saw David Z skate, and it was just all over for me. Pool riding styles differ from skater to skater. David Z works the pipeline pool Really, like really good back at air. Grabbing the nose. Yes. He's or nose scooping grabber. them up and tapping the tail coming in. No body jar, but just the corner of the tail yes. coming in. Well, that's where the body jar came from. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was David Neil, Z. Neil watching David Z. So go out and fucking do it, man. <laughs> Back stairs are supposed to be higher than three feet. Thanks for watching the letters. <laughs> Better go back to 79 if you want to find anything from me. Yeah. <laughs>